Hello, I am Luos and in this guide slash tutorial for the Impact Effects Pack I'm going to show you how to make a new texture for the Bolt Impact on Bolt Flash Particles. First off though, I'd like to apologize in advance if you can hear my cats or dogs or any other noise, as well as me sometimes having to reconfigure my screens to get the right menus to show up. Alright, let's get going. So you can make any texture uh, to be vertically aligned, so you have four images, and you can draw whatever you want of course, in this case I made a bit more of a watery lightning effect. And that's all you really need. So it's just a black and white image, and then you can just save it. I already saved it before, so Ctrl S, I guess. And in the Contour Browser, I'm going to import it in the Textures Impact Effects. As you can see, I already have a bold impact here, but I'm going to import the other one. And that should be this one. There we go. <clears throat> Make sure you set it to Alpha Channel. Uh, the Texture Group should be Effects. And you can keep mip maps on if you want to. I think that's all we need to set. And then let's add them into a material instance. Back to the content browser and let's go to the materials. Materials and I think impact spark. No, that's not the one. Lightning impact should be one. Let me double check. Uh, yes, that is one. So I'm going to make a material instance out of that. So I'm going to duplicate this material instance, duplicate lightning impact 2, double click on it, and replace the texture with impact 02. I'm going to save it and I'm going to go to the particle system. First, the bolt impact. So I'm just going to duplicate the first one. Control Shift W, though I'm not sure if that works for you because I set it up manually. If that doesn't work, you can just right click on an emitter and duplicate and share. And I need to replace the required, so I'm going to hold down control on another one, drag and place it over it so it's a separate one. And then I'm going to get the lightning impact 2 material instance. Uh, lightning impact 02. <clears throat> there we go. And I should probably replace this with the material instance as well, so I'm going to do that right away before I forget. Change the lightning impact 01. There we go. Now I need all these five, but I'm going to show you this one real quick. And uh, I'll do it in slow motion. As you can see, the wavy thing is now activated. And uh, let me double check the texture real quick on this one. If I said everything correct. Ah, mirror and clamp. So we need that for the other one. And we need the texture for the other one, I guess. So let's go to this one and set it to mirror and clamp. Apologies for that. I knew I was forgetting something. So now it looks a bit better, I guess. And we should probably pick this one and there. You can see it's a bit different now. Okay. Now I still need to duplicate all these, but for now this should be fine. If you want to, you can just easily duplicate and share the emitter. Move it to the right with the arrows. And hold down shift and move this required over there. And now it's replaced with the new effect. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna do that the rest later off screen. Uh, for the B Flash collection, we need another material. It's actually the same one, that's easier. Okay, all right. Go to the particle B Flash collection and I'm gonna duplicate the first one. Hold down Control Shift W, or in your case, probably duplicate the share emitter and move it all the way to the right. Press, 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 press. There we go. And I should probably call it B flash B1 for now. Replace the required node. Hold down control. Drag it. And you can now replace it to impact of two. And that will look like this. There you go. So that's how you make a new uh, bolt impact and bolt flash particle system. All right. That's all you need to know in this case. So take care. Now, before I forget, whenever you create a new duplicate and shared instance, it also duplicates the LODs. And for some reason, there's a bug where it doesn't properly update the required. So it doesn't have the right material instance selected. So if I go to LOD01, you can see it has the wrong material instance. So I'm going to go to required, share from higher. And I'm also going to do it for LOD2. Right mouse click on it, share from higher. That way it works properly. So keep that in mind when you're actually uh, duplicating and adding new materials to it. 
share from higher go to the other LED and share from higher once more that way you be sure that whenever the LED kicks in that you have the right material instance all right take care